Good morning everyone. Welcome to Erica LOL Beauty and Reviews. Today I saw this thing on um, Amazon. And it's like a little box. I can't pronounce that name. Cavescent. Um, and it's packed, if you can see, with makeup. This one costed $35. There's a larger one that comes with a makeup bag it looks like that's $39.98 this one's $35.98 I wrote it down because Christmas is coming and I think this is a perfect gift for um I literally found this this is not not sponsored paid for <laughs> okay um the small one is $19.98 so this to me when I saw it online seemed like a good gift for someone who's just starting out with makeup it's got almost everything you need except for I believe primer which is why I have the essence primer out um, and then it just goes with whether or not you trust it with what you use out of this I'm gonna be honest but I'm going to use all of it because I'm showing it to y'all so I'm gonna be the guinea pig basically I'm not sure what's not in here. I have like glanced through it and showed Jason, but I can't remember if there was some things missing. If there is, at the end of this video, you'll see. Um, I think I'm gonna, just gonna stick the thing I did the other day in here. At the end, I redid this room sort of to help with Eric's schooling because for, first and foremost, my son comes first. So, we had to, he was, he's getting too big for his desk, and I had a vanity up front, and this was, um, I had a vanity in the bedroom, and this was a bookshelf in front of me. Now it's a desk in front of me, and the drawer is full with his school supplies and stuff, and the makeup and things are spread out again, so before I sit down for now on, I can't just reach underneath here and get foundation or nothing. I have to get it ahead of time. Um... I'm sorry I haven't been consistent. I do believe there is a giveaway going on that I think is actually over. I believe it is. I'm going to have to go check and I will let the winner know who they are. And ask them if they want it to be announced. But. If they do, go to the community tab and I'll announce it there. Who they are. So, or I'll at least announce the state they're in. That way you know, basically, that I'm not fibbing. The box is back here somewhere. I'm sorry I haven't been in front of the camera a lot lately. Here's the box, because I know I told y'all I was going to add stuff to it. Besides the Urban Decay lipsticks. So this is the what the person will win. Alright, and then I gotta get ready for like a Christmas giveaway coming up. So, alright, let's get into this box, the reason we're here today. Cavescent. Alright. Alright, not bad at first. There's two beauty blenders. We're gonna, um, I like purple. Let's open up purple. I don't know if I'm going to use that today. They smell like they've been inside of something for a minute. You know what I'm talking about? If you, that plasticky smell. So, I'm just going to go ahead and sit it over to the side and see while I'm opening the rest of this. If it airs out a little bit. And then there's the... Oh, wait. This one's already open. Yeah, this one doesn't smell as... Stale. That's the word. Stale-ish. Okay. Next thing we have is drawing eyebrow. I'm going to say, I mean, in this box, I'm going to go ahead and it looks like it's, and I can't tell on the other ones. I think they all come with foundation and stuff like that. So if you have darker skin, like, I don't even know if this is going to work on me. I'm going, there's Chinese writing on some of this. Alright, this is called Drawing Eyebrow Pen, 
Pixel by North Show. Okay, they got brown on this side. Okay, so that's brown. And I'm pretty sure this isn't a spoolie over here. What's this? Nope, it's a spoolie. Okay, so it's a brown eye pencil. Don't know if that'll match me. They have this mascara that feels very light that I'm not even sure there's mascara in here. Wow. It's moments like this, I wish I had like a little something right here to open these. All right, let's see. I love the outer packaging of this. But I am kind of wondering if there's anything inside of it. There we go. I need to get... Something for the trash. There we go. Alright, so it's, it's very glittery and it feels glittery. It's got a pop. That's good. Hmm. That's what the brush looks like. It smells like lotion almost, so it might not be bad. So that's the mascara. This is a liquid eyeliner, I'm pretty sure. And I don't use liquid eyeliners, so I'm not even gonna open this one out of the plastic. And we'll see how the mascara does, if the mascara does good. Um. Then I'll go ahead and stick that in a giveaway box. And okay, the next thing I see is a contour pencil, pencil thing. Shade 01. It says by color geometry. So it looks like this is all different brands almost, but everything is written. I don't know if y'all, hold on, I know you can see it here. La Mila, La Mila, Cavescent. So it's this is geometry, but it also says La Mi, La Me, La, La Mela. Um, this has the light color for when you're contouring. It's really light, and then. This is supposed to be the other color for when you're contouring. And that's a little brown. It looks more like a bronzer to me. Alright, let's go ahead and throw that away. Okay, this is Cavescent Lip Matte Lip Gloss, which I'm not sure. I'm thinking that means just lipstick. There is four colors. So let's open the two. We'll open two of them. I'll put two of them to the side. We'll put the. I don't wear red that often, so I don't like wasting it. Oh, it smells. Oh my god, it smells yummy. Um, watermelon Jolly Rancher. That's what it smells like. Definitely not a lip gloss. We're gonna pat it out and see. It smells yummy, but not knowing what's in it, I wouldn't lick my lips very much, but it smells yummy. And that's how it blends out. Now we're gonna get the other one. This doesn't say, this just says um, 03. 04, the red is 5, and this one is 2. Okay. So it's kind of like those um, Miskos makeup that I used to get, where it just had numbers. Slightly lighter. 
same smell like a Jolly Rancher. I swear that's what it smells like, like a Jolly Rancher. These are the brushes, I guess. Part of me don't want to waste them. I don't want to waste them because I have a lot, a lot of brushes. So I don't want to waste these brushes. For a first time person using makeup, that's a great gift. I'm going to put that up somewhere for a giveaway or something. Okay, so this lipstick right here is dried down. And it doesn't want to come off, so that's a good thing. Wow. Like, it really doesn't want to come off. Wow. I'm having to rub to get them off, y'all. Wow. That has some staying power. I never even tested the um, Urban Decay like that one. So once you have this on, there's a possibility you have it on for the day. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's new. All right. Oh, now y'all know. Okay, these are concealers. Expiration date is on the concealers. And it's by the La Mela. This one is shade 03. That's what it looks like. That looks more like my foundation shade. This one is shade 05, so that should mean it's going to be darker, right? Oh, yeah. That's darker. Okay. All right, so we got this. This is keep out of reach of children. Avoid accidental ingestion. If there are any discomfort during uses, please stop uses. Do not use on by children under three. Please rinse with water. If you are not careful, please rinse with water. All right. This, I did look at the other day because I was wondering what it was. This is the powder, and I actually think this is kind of neat. It's La Mila powder, and it's got this really light color here. Then you flip it up, and it's got another color there. I think that's neat that there's two, but they're both very, very light. See, when you put them on, you can't see it. My dog bite is still healing. All right, these are foundations do not use wounds or eczema or areas of inflammation stop immediately if you have allergic reaction avoid contact with eyes if not rinse with water this has an expiration date on it also I want to use this stuff and show y'all that it works but I'm kind of starting to get worried with these ah it exploded inside there. Let's go ahead and rinse it off. You can hear the garbage truck. It's really dark. Let me see if I can smell anything. All I can smell is that's how that's the color that came out of that one. We're gonna be cautious and stick it on our hand first. So that if we feel any burny feelings, we know not to use it. This is the shade that comes with this is FT color. Silky foundation. Gently push. Lighten the layer. Feels thin. And natural. Usage method. Okay. 
Take appropriate amount, push open. Okay, so it's apply layers. Or is that the blender? Okay, so, I mean, it's nice. Okay, and the color is four. This is color four. All right, and there's another one. This is like a crazy video. I'm sorry, because I just, I didn't. This one is color three, so this one should be lighter. But it looks about the same. I don't feel anything burny. They both look like they work for me. All right, we're just gonna keep on going. I got these concealers over here. We got the foundations. Oh no. They don't have anything on here to tell you what color they are once you take them out of the box. So I'm going to put this one at least color three back in its box. All right. This is the Cavescent 15 color concealer. Got the list of ingredients on the back. Probably nothing you actually want on your face. I don't know. Mica, titanium dioxide, jojoba extract, citrus, grapefruit seed extract. May contain, okay, I don't know, don't know what these letters are. There's address. Any problem with this makeup kit, please contact. We will solve in under 24 hours. Made in China. All right. And here it's got the color correcting stuff. And it's got just some concealers and liquid bronzers, I guess. This, I don't know. Maybe you could use this as a blush. Because I don't see any blush in here. It doesn't smell like a chemical, so that's good. All right, and here's the palette. It's a very beautiful palette. Comes with a little thing. Let's just grab a couple of colors. Let's see the second color, fourth color, and one of these colors on the bottom. All right, nice and silky. All right, so looking over this. I'm going to try to put some on my face. Um, I'm not feeling nothing bad from here. I was going to post this today on, um, I think it's Wednesday, September 20th. But I want to make sure I don't have an allergic reaction before I post it. So we're just going to use this stuff. And if I have an allergic reaction to it, I will let y'all know at the end of the video. So I may not post what I did up here. I might just post it by itself. Who knows? We'll just, we'll deal with it when we get there. All right, let's go ahead and use our Essence Primer. This is the moisturizing one. I love this thing. You know I love any primers that are moisturizing. If you've been here a while... And this Essence one is just as good as any of the other ones. And since this stuff is all in Chinese, and I'm not 100% sure, and it has all those warnings, having a layer between me and it. Like I said, I saw this, wanted to try it. And so far, like the eyeshadow palette, the lipstick, a lot of it, I don't understand the foundations because depending on who you buy this for, the foundations aren't going to work necessarily. So there's always that, like depending on how much you pay for it, don't get it for a little kid, obviously, <laughs> because it says don't use on little kids. All right, we're going to go with number three. We're going to go with number four. Maybe a mixture of both. Okay, we're going to grab this beauty blender. 
I'm going to tap into number three first. Let's try this. Now we're on to number four. Definitely a your skin, but better kind of thing. I'm trying to make sure it's not okay. blurring me out for y'all. I'm going to make sure y'all see the true color going on. And I'm avoiding the eye area because basically it says to. So I'm not, I'm trying not to do like I do with my other makeup. Or always put it over the eyelids. I'm not gonna do that. All right, we're gonna go in with um. I believe this is number four because the color seems to show up to do more with the number four, with the darker one. gonna take on the corner try to get in those hard to reach areas without touching the eye hmm I'm hoping I'm not blurred out for y'all I don't understand what's going on with the new light So far, what is that? It seems fine, but I would almost say this is the perfect starter makeup for a teenage girl. If she's this color. If she's light complected, because it's like, I can still see all the pigmentation underneath my skin. And I don't want to put too much on because I don't want it to look horrible. So, we're going to leave it there. Just a nice thin layer. Alright, now we're going to take, um, let me look at these concealers. See if I need to grab out of the other thing or not. Let me get a... Oy, oy, oy. I'm going to grab this Moda brush, Morphe brush M. 428. I have no idea if they're even still selling brushes. We're going to go into the next, the one next to the pink on this thing. very odd look I've never used a palette so I'm not exactly 100% sure how you do this I've never used a contour palette all right we're gonna use this and see if this works a little better Okay, and then we're going to blend it with the bottle. It worked. I mean, it's not the... I mean, it's a good, decent coverage, actually. All right. Um, let's take this contour stick. I feel like I'm grease painting. I don't know. It's very 
what's the word? Um, it's not bad. It's very silky feeling as you're putting it on, I guess the word is. We're going to go with the top half to blend it out. We're just going to keep using the sponge. For one, it's the best option. We'll fix the nose in a minute. All right, now I'm just blending all this out. All right, so for the nose, you take the other side, since it got too much, and you take that white line, and you put it down the center of your face, basically, and we're gonna take the other sponge. There we go. All right, we don't have a blush in this set, if you notice. So we're gonna take that pink color out of this contour palette. And we're just gonna add a little bit to the cheeks. Just to add a little bit of a rosy glow. Can y'all see that? Definitely pink. It's like a Barbie pink. So we got that on there. So you could use this for color correcting or you could use it for, like I just did for the blush. Um, yeah, we're not setting this. We're gonna go ahead and go into the powder and use our brush. I'm not setting the cream products because I don't want to do like a chemical reaction. So far, everything feels perfectly fine. I'm using the lightest color because I got a feeling the lightest color was like a translucent. I wouldn't do any flash photography today. 35 dollars i mean you get a lot of stuff but i don't know if i was to do this for someone else i would get the 19 dollar one i'm not sure i mean honestly it's looking decent i mean the makeup don't look now that i put the powder on it don't look bad it don't look anything it's just kind of there all right, um, we didn't use these, so we're going to put these, we're going to go three is definitely the lighter of the two, and five is definitely the darker. All right, so we've used all these, putting them over here. Ah! Sounded like something broke, didn't it? I'm trying to get my feet where I'm comfortable. All right. Foundation. Make sure to put them in their little homies area. So I know where they're at. Okay. Now, we're going to go with the brow pencil. I, this isn't exactly my color, so don't get... I don't think this is hardly anyone's color. I mean, it's not, well, it is. It's other people's color. It's called Ted Brown on their thing. But even if it's not your color, 
you just fill in the brows as much as you can as light as you can like so I mean as long as the color isn't really horribly off you can make it work like if you're blonde this probably isn't gonna work for you this color all right now let's go into the eyeshadow let's grab my brushes that I like to use there we go does this have a thing on it that says don't use near the eyes no okay it does have the ingredients on it too if you need to know all right so we're gonna these are the colors I like this palette I'm gonna go into the second color for my transition shade because not everybody can afford fancy schmancy makeup and this might be a little bit out of their range as well but if y'all want I could go into my stuff over here I think I still have some LA colors and things like that from the Dollar Tree and I could show you how they work or I could just go to the Dollar Tree I mean take what ten dollars get a full face of makeup my hair's like I'm in the hair training part again because I'm not in the pool every day anymore because I got last time I went in there it was so cold all right now for the crease shade I want to go into third from the ah, that's not really gonna show up is it let's try this one this is reminds me of a naked palette or like two naked palettes okay I'm gonna go into this shade right here because they're not very pigmented and the shade range even reminds me of an Urban Decay Naked palette or it's like just light colored which is nice because you don't expect naked palettes I mean I don't expect naked palettes to be very pigmented because they're literally called naked So going by the name, I really don't expect it to be that. You know what I mean? I don't expect it to be bright and pigmented. and That's why you'll see me buy some of the naked palettes that are really bright because I know the colors are still muted for the most part. They're muted versions of the pigmented versions that looks good there it goes all right there is really no shade that can be used as a we're gonna go in the third on the bottom I'll show it to you in a second let's see There's not a whole lot, and I'm not using glitter. If you've been here for a while, you know that me and glitter don't get along. My eyes will swell up, but I'll show y'all the glitter on my hand in a minute. I know they're glitter by looking at them. All right. I want to take this I'm going to go in the shade we used in the crease I'm 
and I'm going to take, I don't have a light shade, like glittery shade, but we're going to take this like white color matte shade and put it on the inner corners right there. I don't know if it's doing anything. There it goes. Just to brighten it up a bit. I know usually I'd put a glittery shade. I'm going to stick it right up there. And then I want to take this brush and I want to go into that and I'm just going to kind of lighten some of this. All right. So the glitter shades look like this. You can tell they're glitter. No, that's the first one. The second one is like a silver, multicolored silver. And this one's a gold one. I'll show them. They're the last three right here. And this is a shade I put on my lid. But these three are all glitter. It's not a bad palette. And the glitter stays. And the lipstick stays. Speaking of, let's go ahead and just put a color on my lips. It feels nice and soft. It feels odd. Let's go ahead and color. Not color. I know this video is long. Uh, curl my eyelashes. And no, I'm probably not going to use setting spray on this because I don't want any problems if I have to get it off. And like I said, this video will go up at another time. Not today, because I wanted to let y'all know if there's any allergic reactions. Plus, let you know how it wears. So I'll do a check-in later on, because it's like, ow, 9 a.m. The lipstick is a little bright, considering I don't have any real blush on. So it's kind of out there all right so we got everything on so far it looks good the lipstick is already dry we'll leave that alone i don't know how long if i'm gonna be able to get it off but we'll see how long it wears so we're just gonna do that okay but i will see y'all in the next one but i'll also come in for checkups i know this is a long video but i want to make sure to do some checkups for you all right, bye. All right, I'm gonna add this to the, that color correcting thing did stay all day also. The lipstick I took off, I had to get a wipe to get it off. Um, eyeshadow stayed. For what it is, it stayed. You know what I mean? Like, and there's no reaction, so that's good. Um yeah i really like the way it looks it's um i put it on about nine o'clock this morning and it's four o'clock in the afternoon i'm about to get oh excuse me i'm about to get a shower i was just outside with the garden and while eric was swimming you see my hair is up i don't get in the pool with him right now because it's cold and then i haven't been keeping up with my roots i'm trying to decide if i'm just gonna let it go you can tell I didn't do this eye as good with the mascara, but look at that mascara. Like, look at that. That's like really good. Like, why didn't I do this eye as good? I'm gonna have to use that mascara again and do it good on both eyes. Overall, it's a really good deal, actually. I mean, like I said, I'll put the links down below. Eric's in here. Oh yeah, Eric's in here. There you go, Ashley. <laughs> All right, y'all. I am going to get him in the shower, and then I'm going to get me a shower, and then I'm going to finish dinner before Jason gets here. So, love y'all. Bye.